What's up guys, how's it going? It is Matt here. So I'm going to be doing a special video for you guys today and once again is a crappy New England day so it's been raining on and off and all that good stuff. Um, it's Sunday, I have a class today over at Central Connect Arms. I think I got four students in the class but I always like to come in a little bit early just so I can do a shooting video or just get out there and get some trigger time for myself and stuff like that too. But today I wanted to focus on a kind of important video for you guys today and that's going to be about shooting and moving. All right, Shooting and moving. This video is based off a video I did a while ago. I did it a long time ago. Actually, I put the link of the video in the description. Basically, what it was about, there was a uh, police officer, heroic police officer, that had a Glock 21. Um, this is over in Texas a few years back, and he stopped a terrorist attack. He was in an open field doing traffic duty or somewhere along the lines like that, and two terrorists came out with rifles and what looked like backpack bombs, and he, nowhere to go, nowhere to hide, nowhere to take cover, got out, charged the objective, charged the two with his Glock 21 out, shot them. He was using 230 grain jacketed hollow point. He shot them, took out two terrorists, and then when they were on the ground after he unloaded an entire magazine on him, he realized the slide was locked back to the rear. So it quickly reloaded and then finished the terrorist threat because they were reaching for what looked like straps or something like that on it. Now the video I did was because I was calling out some um, tactical kind of uh, ninja basement operator about shooting and moving how he didn't really know much about it so if you want to check out the video like I said links down below but there's two ways two primary ways to shoot and move one is the right way to do it, and the other one is not the right way to do it. so I don't know why a lot of te uh, a lot of uh, ranges teach this and it kind of <laughs> bothers me a little bit when the de they teach this but I'll uh, you know I'll cover that later it's like this there's two ways there's one there is the shoot and move so you're moving and you're shooting onto the target where you're putting it you're putting suppressive fire on the target so their heads stay behind cover and then when you get within the right distance you end them you you put it you put a stop to them. then there's the rambo charge the rambo charge method which a lot of tactical ninjas have been teaching which is you sprint full speed at the target and then hit shoot the target and then you're done so the problem with this is that only works if you have suppressive fire. If someone else is with you and they're putting suppressive fire down on the target. We call it Rambo charge in the Marine Corps because if you're in a field of fire and you're taking fire and there's not much cover and you're doing your best to get down in prone position and return fire, you have to move onto the objective. And the only way to move onto objective is to put suppressive fire down on the target. So we are gonna do this. So I'm gonna set the camera up and I'm gonna show you the two different methods here. Now, what I want you guys to do is I'm going to do the Rambo footage again, and I want you to point your guns at the camera, phone, whatever it is, point your little fingers and go pew pew, and get your pew machines, point it at the camera, point it at the video, and I want you to see how many times you can go pew 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 when I'm running to the target. So I want you to do that before I actually start shooting. So go ahead, point them at it, and when I run at the target, go pew 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 pew, pew and then tell me how many shots that you can actually get off on target. The other method, the more tactical method, is you shoot while you're moving. The reason you're shooting while you're moving is the same thing that the military teaches time and time again. You shoot and move specifically because you want the target's head to be down while you're moving on to the objective, while you're assaulting through the objective, assaulting through the threat, assaulting through the threat. A hey, little tongue twister there. Do you want to keep their heads down? And if you run without suppressive fire, without cover fire, and then shoot when you're at close because you have a more stable position when you stop you will be dead before you actually get to the target whereas if you are shooting and moving like i showed you if you're shooting and moving like i showed you what will happen is that their heads will go down and you will have 
the up end of the threat. Now you ha can't shoot too fast, you can't shoot too slow. You need to keep in consideration that you are putting suppressive fire in it, so you don't need to go rapid, you don't need to go blah, 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 blah. It's shoot, 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 shoot. You just want rounds going down range, flinging crap off with their hiding behind buildings, walls. You want stuff getting flung at them. You want their heads down while you move closer to them so you can get a better shot at them. That is how it works. Now, if you like the Rambo charge, by all means, go ahead and do it. Just be sure that you have suppressive fire so when you do do it, you don't find yourself in the morgue when you're done. Right, if you like this video, like, share, subscribe, tell your friends about me, and remember, it's our responsibility to take care of each other and protect each other. Peace.